From the iPad interface, select the App Store app. Once you've done that, in the search field, type Command Fusion. You'll notice as you start to type, under Suggestions, Command Fusion will appear. Simply select it. Once you do, you'll see the CF iViewer app. Mine is already installed. You can see for you it'll say free. Select it and it'll install the app. Now once you've installed the app, go back to the iPad interface and select Settings. Once you're in Settings, you'll notice that uh, under the Apps portion of Settings, CFI Viewer is available. Select it and you will see all the properties available for Command Fusion. The first property that we're interested in is File URL. You'll notice right now there's an IP address in there. That IP address will become important when we start the upload process within GUI Designer. And let's do that now. Okay, now let's upload the project we created to the iPad. You're going to be amazed at how easy this is to do. Let's go to the File menu, select Upload Service, or hit F12. Now notice it says Port 8019. Let's start and it says set GUI URL to 192.168.1.107.8019. So let's go to our iPad, and for a file URL, let's type in this IP address with the colon. And now, what we want to do is we want to change in our settings for CFI Viewer, we want to select Reload GUI File and set it to On instead of Off. Now what we can do is if we simply launch CFI Viewer, you'll notice that the activity light blinks within GUI Designer and your new interface loads on the iPad. Now let's go to the next section and we can test our button, verify feedback, and add more controls.